So I will start the, the recording. So um, this video will be used for educational training and marketing purposes. So mm -hmm. thanks for, for agree. Okay, so tell me, um, what did you do in your weekend? ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana? Uh, tiene uh, un... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice vaccination? Eh, vacunación. Sí. Primer, primer vac, uh, vacunación uh, viernes. Uh, oh. ¿Y cómo fue? ¿Cómo estuvo? No, uh, bien, bien. Uh, está, estoy bien. Hey, no síntomas, no dolores. Ah, genial, me alegra. ¿Y cuándo es la próxima? En tres semanas. Ok. Bueno, well, espero que vaya bien. Ok, ¿y qué más hicieron? Descansar. Yo... Planto, uh, ¿cómo se dice herbs? Um, herbs, I think that, maybe, wait, I'm not sure, so I will search. I think that is hierbas. Hierbas. Hierbas, herb. Ajá, hierbas, especies. So let me write it. Hierbas, especies. Oh, ear, but oh, yeah. it's okay. So, yo, uh, but how would I say pass? So, how would I say part? I planted, okay. Eh, planté, this is past tense, then I will we going to learn it, but it's planté. The infinitive verb is plantar, plantar, okay. So, yo planté herbas. Um, in me jardín. Okay, genial. In nuestra jardín. Okay, sí, nuestro. <laughs> okay. Super, super. Fue un buen fin de semana. Lavamos nuestra casa. Ajá, lavamos nuestra casa, sí. Y um, compramos uh, Groceries? Sí. Cos, no, ¿Cómo uh, se dice groserías? No, groserías. Oh. That's funny because groserías is like swears, like when a kid. Oh, says, no. Oh. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's totally different. Groceries oh. is like, uh, I think that is like a false friend. Uh, groceries would be. How would we say that? Uh, maybe um, comida, mm -hmm. cosas para el hogar. Um, oh, we got these to help us. We got these little um, cheat sheets. Ah, super. Vocab and um, verbs and grammar, just so, because I think it's better. Super. Yeah. yeah, that's really useful. Super. Yeah. Okay, um, muy bien. So, talking about this, uh, about the verbs, today I'm going to teach you a new tense, okay? I think that maybe I talk about this tense in our last class. I don't I don't remember. But it's about future. the, the future tense. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's the future tense. It's the easiest tense in Spanish. And that's great because we are always talking in, in future, like what we are going to do tomorrow, today. So it's really useful. So, futuro. So, wait a minute. So today I will teach you like the conjugation and we're going to do some speaking exercise, okay? Just to practice this in like talking. That's the best way to, to learn. So we're going to talk. So first, the conjugation. Um, okay. 
where is the conjugation? Well, the conjugation is really easy uh, because the endings are going to be the same for all the verbs, for the verbs that end in ar, er, and it. And the, the conjugation is the infinitive verb, infinitivo, plus the following endings, terminaciones. So the termination, the, the endings would be yo would end in e, tú would end in e. Caminarás, él would end in caminará, ella caminará, ah, oh, well, él, ella, and usted in same, nosotros caminaremos, caminaremos, and ustedes and ellos caminarán. caminarán. Okay, so for example, how would you conjugate eh, leer? Um, yo leeré. Sí, muy bien. Uh, tú leerás. Perfecto. Siguiente. Él leerá. Sí, muy bien. Nosotros leeremos. Muy bien, leeremos. Y ellos leerán. Perfecto, muy bien. Ok, and John, how would you conjugate, eh, I don't know, let me think, eh, escuchar? Yo escuché. Ok, escuché is past tense. Oh. Escuché. Oh, escuchar, eh. Exacto, escucharé. That's, it, it's important to, to say the whole verb, like the infinitive verb. Uh -huh. Escucharé. Tú escucharás. Perfecto. Él, ella, usted escuchará. Muy bien. Nosotros escucharemos. Escucharemos, sí. Y ustedes, o sea, escucharán. Muy bien. Muy bien. So, it's, it's really, really easy. Um, so, here we have, like, all the verbs, but we have some irregular verbs, okay? As always. Um, so, but those are, no. Okay. A ver, a ver. Yes. For example, a ver is one of the irregular verbs. So, a ver, we're not going to, to, to say the whole infinitive verb. So just like the first part, like the root, and then we're going to end the, the endings. So the new root for a ver would be abr, like, like this. So abre, abras, abra, okay? The same for hacer, the new root would be ar. So are, aras, ara. For poder is podre. So those are like the regular verbs in the future tense. And so the only the only way to learn it is just like memorize. You know, with memorizing and with practice. Um, but it's kind of it's it's easy because the endings are gonna be always the same. So you just have to remember the root. Okay, so I will paste this in our notes so you can have it and you can Maria K is uh caber. Okay, caber. So, caber is like to fit in something. Oh. What is that? To fit. To fit. You can look at your cheat sheet. Yeah, so for example, um, yeah, so yo cabré en mi, I don't know, en mi vestido de novia. I don't know if I'm my pronunciation is this is correct, but it's like fitting something. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's any other verb that you don't recognize here, maybe? Um, okay, a ver is uh, the same than tener. Like oh, okay. to have, but it's, you remember like the difference between a ver and tener. Then we can remember those, the difference. Uh -huh. There to be able to. There is to be able, exactly. Mm -hmm. 
That's a red. Okay, and another maybe? Poner to put, you said. Poner to put. See? Just to like. The seer is to tell. To tell, see? Sí. Just helping us remember it. Uh -huh. um, sí. Quere. What is, que es quere? I forget. To like. Quere oh, to like. To, to want, because to oh. like is more like gustar. Gustar is to like. Querer is to want, or for example, if I say I love you, would be te quiero. Yeah, because it's like yo quiero, I want. Get it? Mm -hmm. yeah. I want. <laughs> Exacto. I want, yo quiero. Exacto. That's querer. Okay, so we have just a few irregular ones, but the most of them are regular, so you can you can use this. For example, ir, the verb ir. That is always irregular in this tense is regular. So iré, irás. So it's really, really easy. Another way to say um, to talk in future tense is the future continuo. Eh, futuro continuo. That is like the um, voy a comer, voy a. So that's really easy too because it's just conjugate the verb ir in present tense and the, the other verb in infinity. So you can use both. There's like any different, maybe this is like something like, like near, like in the time, That's something that you're going to do right now. And maybe this is kind of far, but you can use both, it's, it's kind of the same. So voy a comer, voy a leer, blah, blah, blah. Okay, mm, so uh, wait, now, when we have to use the future tense. Well, this is this is really obvious, but always when we talk about actions in the future, so comeremos luego de ver el partido de fútbol, okay? So for example, what are you going to do eh, when our class ends? ¿Qué van a hacer cuando termine la clase? Mm. 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 Uh. Uh, escribiré okay. mi, uh, or escribiré cinco, cinco cento? Quinientos, um, like this? Quinientos. Um, uh, what's the word? Um, okay. um, How much do you say words? Eh, quine, ah, okay, 500 palabras. palabras. Oh, Escribe, palabra. Escribiré 500 palabras. Wow. Uh, okay. ¿Y tú, Victoria, qué harás? Uh, yo... Hold on. I just want to practice these. There's this word I want to use. Um, okay, I'll say yo. Um, we used that word before. How do you say again to exercise? I forgot. Okay, so we have two two ways to say. Hacer What's the word? Ejercicio. Yeah. Hacer. Oh, that's right. Oh, this is kind of weird. Ejercitarse. So, for example, you can say hacer ejercicio. Uh -huh. Okay, but that's not a. So, would I say haré ejercicio? Perfecto. Sí. Haré ejercicio. Muy bien. Caminaremos a nuestra perita. Sí. Okay. Uh, Yo um, leeré mi libro nuevo. Oh, ¿Cuál libro es? Tú. <laughs> uh, how do you say it's called? Se llama. Or, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, say the same. Um, se llama Tú. Tú, así? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
That's a mysterious name. Yeah. Una uh, televisión uh, uh, tan, tan badly. También, um, yeah, TV, uh, how do you say TV show? It is TV show. Sure. I think that you can say TV show, but TV like show. programa de, oh wait. <laughs> So, S, so two as um, un, una programa de televisión and Netflix. Ah, okay. No, no lo he escuchado. Okay, programa is masculine. Okay, el, el ah. un programa. Is that that kind of words that end in a, but it's masculine? Programa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, muy bien. Perfecto. So. We use future tense to talk about future actions. That's obvious. Uh, also to make projections and predictions about the future. So mañana lloverá todo el día. Mañana hará sol. I don't know. So can you make, can you say like a prediction of something that you think would happen? Um, okay. Yo um dormire si sí. uh, is tonight la noche or anoche eh, en la noche en la noche uh -huh. okay yes that's yes it's that we mean. i mean when you say a prediction what do you mean Mm, I'm the guy will. Maybe, uh, for example, uh, I think that uh, would okay. be better, for example, yo dormiré en la noche ocho horas, like eight hours. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But yes, dormiré en la noche. But I think that is not a prediction because it's always the, it's something that you're going to do, like mm -hmm. a fact. Unless you can't sleep. <laughs> sí. uh, well, yes. No. <laughs> Nunca no. dormiré. Uh, um, let's see. Estaré. Um, sí. muy, um, ocupado, muy ocupado. ocupado. Muy ocupado. Sí. ¿Cuándo? Uh, mañana. Ma oh, mañana. <laughs> mañana. Mañana. Ok. Perfecto. Es, esta semana. Mañana, esta semana. Ok. Uh, pero pero uh, no uh, trabajaré. No trabajaré. Um, Viernes. Ok, el viernes. el viernes. Ah, qué bueno. Eso está bien. Ok, muy bien. So, to make predictions. Ah, ok. This is like another use that, that you can say. It's like to make rhetorical questions. So, this is like a thing that a mom would say. Like, ¿cuántas oh, okay. veces tendré que decirlo? Tendré is in future tense. So, ¿cuántas veces tendré que repetirlo? How many times do I have to tell you? Uh -huh. So it's like rhetorical questions. Do you have any like example maybe? Um, uh, cuando um, uh, cuando <laughs> lavar eh, la, lavarás uh, como se dice dishes? Ah. Los platos. <laughs> <laughs> That's rhetorical, yes. To, to Victoria, right? Yeah. Wait, uh -huh. what are you saying when? When will you wash the plate? So it's like a rhetorical. Like, yeah, sure. Oh, you do that to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so. Um, okay. Okay, we're doing that. <laughs> Cuando. Mm -hmm. um, Revancha. Take again. Don't tell me. I just need to to take. Um, okay, it's to take. Oh, Tomar, Tomar. Mm -hmm. Cuando um, tomaras sí. uh, uh, el pero. Um, ¿Cómo se dice outside? Um, afuera. Afuera. Mm -hmm. 
cuando tomaras el perro fuera. Ok, that's, that's correct, but in this case, when we talk about, like, for example, take someone, to mm -hmm. someone it's better if you use the verb llevar. Oh, ok. Llevarás. It, it sounds better. Cuando llevarás el perro afuera. But very good. That's a rhetorical question. Muy bien. Perfecto. Ok. Another use. Like the same express pro probability. We're not going to do extra examples because it's like kind of the same. Eh, creo que hablaré con Ana mañana. Eh, also to give a command. Ok. So, terminarás tus tareas o no jugarás afuera. Ok. That's a command. So, okay, let's do an example of this. This is kind of new. What do you think, maybe an example? Uh, to make a command? Yeah, a command. Oh, um, oh, um, oh. Wait, but so that's when you used it like, like that, like give, um, What about you say like give me? Like what what do you say da mm -hmm. darame or how would you say that as a command? As a command, like the like the conjugation is different. Mm -hmm. The conjugation for a command is dar. Okay, the dar is da for you, to da, and dame is like give me. You can say also like darás o me darás using the future tense. Oh, okay. So that's how you use the future. Me dará. Mm -hmm. Me darás. What? Me darás. Uh, that, that just could be a com command. Give me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. I got oh, it. No. <laughs> okay. I understand now the question. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, so, you're asking. This is the yeah. command. It's like a, a command, like dame. But if you're going oh, to so use it, oh, okay. Me darás el libro y te irás. O me darás el libro ahora. Come los frutas, las frutas. But this is future. So like it's give. I thought, yeah. how is that future? Like you. It's open. like you will eat the fruit. fruit. You will give me the fruit. Or Oh, um, no, there's two parts. It's like a threat, like, or you can't. Uh, you'll finish, you'll eat the fruits of no comeras la, what's the pastel. Word? La pastel. Mm -hmm. La pastel? Sí. Yep. Okay, so pastel is masculine, el pastel. Cake. Ah, perfect. Cake. Ajá, comerás las frutas o no comerás el pastel. Ajá, this is like, if you don't eat, uh, you, are, you are not going to eat cake. You can also I'm, say just comerás las frutas. It's like, you will eat the fruit, the fruits. Okay. So, so could I say, that. me darás um, tu teléfono o no videojuegas? No, ajá, o no. Eh, o no hay videojuegos. Oh, no hay videojuegos. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Perfect. That's a really good example. Muy bien. Ok. Um, and, well, the other is like to make promises. This is kind of the same. So, te amaré por siempre. I will always love you. Te escucharé siempre. Mm -hmm. To make promises. So, do you want to make a promise? Uh, <laughs> sí. Um... Es, te escuchará, escucharé. Sí. Um, por siempre. Sí. No, listen to me always. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Muy interesante. <laughs> sí, sí. Ojalá lo haga. Ojalá es like, eh, I wish. I wish. <laughs> Okay, and Victoria, I promise. Um, te amare? Is that I will always love you? Uh -huh. Te amare. Okay. Oh, siempre. Uh -huh. Por, por oh, siempre. siempre. Oh, well, just siempre. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> okay, John, I, I didn't, I missed that. Ah, te amaré siempre o por siempre. Oh, there you go. Here you go. Mm -hmm. No. I don't know how to make a prompt. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'll think of another one. Okay. Um, Oh, okay. Um, te ayudar re por siempre. I will always help you. Sí, muy bien. Perfecto. Okay, so I think that right now we know all the uses, the conjugation. So let's make some exercises, okay? Just to practice this. Ah, well, this is something that we can use. So I like time expressions that can accompany the future simple, del futuro simple. So we have mañana, okay? You know what is mañana, tomorrow. Pasado mañana is the day before, the day after tomorrow. Okay, that's pasado mañana, okay? Pasado mañana. So pasado mañana iré de compras, pasado mañana jugaré, blah, blah, blah. Eh, also, la semana que viene, okay? La semana que viene is like the next week, o la próxima semana, are the same, okay? La, la semana que viene and la próxima semana are the same meaning. El mes que viene, the same, like the next month. El próximo año, the next year. In, uh, and you can say el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, el jueves, el viernes. Uh, so, el lunes iré de compras, el martes jugaré videojuegos, el miércoles comeré pizza. So, those are some expressions that you can use with the simple future. Okay? Are you writing? Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me know when you finish. Uh, finito. Okay, <laughs> perfecto. I mean, I oh. it <laughs> okay, so now we're going to make some exercises. First, to the conjugation, just to practice conjugation to make it automatic. And then we're going to, to speak. Okay, so first. Uh, okay. Um... Llegarán. Muy bien. So, please read the whole uh, sentence. Nunca llegarán a tiempo para el tren de las cinco. Perfecto. El siguiente. Cuando sean padres... De verán. De verán. Uh, sí, muy yeah. bien, de verán. Ocuparse de sus hijos. Perfecto, muy bien. Siguiente. Um, empezaremos. Muy bien. A partir de mañana empe em Pesaremos a cobrar la, las entradas. Muy bien, muy bien. ¿Qué, muy es, bien. La, uh, um, ¿qué es cobrar? Cobrar is like to, um, I don't know how to say this in English, like to, um, I forgot, let me search. I forgot how to say cobrar. Cobrar. Okay. Y collect. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like to to pay, to to make the tickets pay because maybe in this in this okay. moment are free. So um, tomorrow we're going to to make you pay. Oh. Oh. That's for that. Like to make someone pay for something. Okay. Siguiente. Gracias. Okay. Um, este próximo domingo abrirán todos los centros comerciales. Ok, la última. Okay. Uh, 
development. Oh, but there's no. Yeah, I'm trying. I just guessed. Oh. Okay, but Help okay. Me see. Mm -hmm. so we're talking about arboles and playas. Okay, so the um, ustedes uh, or uh, mm -hmm. so is that one? That one's not a regular, right? Or is it? No, no, it's not even. No, that's, yeah, that's a different one. Okay. Um, que darán? Mm -hmm. Muy bien. So, Dentro de una década no queda, quedarán árboles ni playas limpias. Perfecto. Muy bien. Okay, so uh, any vocabulary that maybe you don't understand? Que, uh, ni playas, ni? Ni is uh, like nor. Oh, okay. Nor. Oh, and nor. Maybe. I don't know if next class or next week, I will teach you about the negations in Spanish. And you're going to learn ni, ni is nor. So, nor beaches. Decade, no. Okay, it's quedar. Quedar is, um, in this context, because quedar has a lot of meanings, but I think that in this context is like, they are not going to be, like to oh. well, quedar is to stay. Oh, so, okay. Like they are not going to stay. I don't know if that has sense in English. They yeah. are to remain to yeah, stay. There won't, there won't be any trees. Uh -huh. Like limpia. Um, que es limpias. Uh, like clean, clean. Okay. Um, que es si si on stay on. Uh, ah, este uh, and I see. see that's a really good question. Sean is from the verb ser, and it's yeah. um, it's a it's another tense that is called subjuntivo. The subjuntivo is to talk about uh, future things that are not facts, like hypothetical uh, situations, wishes, hopes, advices. Okay, so it's like so metaphoric. Yes, it's another tense. Then, in the future, we're going to learn subjuntivo, but it's like to talk about you will be, you're going to be, okay? So when you are going to be parents, parents you need sorry. to keep busy with your kids. Keep your kids busy. Uh, you are going to, you have, because the bed is like you have or you must, uh, you must Ocuparse is like to take care in this context. Like you have to take care of your kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something else, maybe? Um, a partir. A partir. Ah, how do you say a partir? Um, I know that this, there's a word, a partir. Mm -hmm. Let me search. Part. Oh, it's not here. Is, oh, wait. There's parar. Is that to stop or no? Parar That's is it. to stop, uh -huh. but parti, a partir is uh, just one word. A partir. Oh. Starting, ah, okay. Oh. Starting from uh, tomorrow, we're going oh. to, to make the tickets paid. Okay. That's a partir, it's starting. Mm -hmm. Next Sunday, all the um, central stores will be closed. Isn't that the mall? Malls. Uh huh. Next, uh huh. Next uh, Sunday, uh, all the malls are going to be open. Something like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, década. Do you know what oh. is decade? No. Decade. Uh, oh. Decade. Exacto. Decade. Ah, well, it's the same in English. Diez años. Decade. Okay. Perfecto. Oh, do you have any other question? Sorry. No. Okay. okay. So I want to make a game. Uh, so here I have this, um, this game. So I will 
I will make you some questions and you have to answer the questions using the future tense, okay? So it's it's easy. So let me search some dice, dados virtuales. Okay, who wants to go first? Yo. Okay, perfecto. John, cinco. Entonces, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Okay, ¿cómo será tu ciudad en 2027? Uh, okay. Um, vivaremos. Sorry? Vivaremos. I, I don't understand, sorry. Oh, habitamos. Ah. Habit, habit, no. Habitaremos. Habitaremos o no, olvidaremos. Oh, viv yeah, viviremos. Oh. Ah, viviremos. Well, habitar is like to have it, like to live, so could be. But, uh -huh. viviremos, viviremos. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde viviré? Ajá. En, en cinco, seis años. Uh -huh. okay. sí. Viviremos en... Uh, um, Munich, Germany. Oh, super. Now, We're going to be neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Viviremos en. Mm, yo viviré en Alemania. Uh -huh. Después. Okay. Oh. Sí, sí, sí. I, I don't know how to spell Munich. I think that would be. Uh, uh, Viviremos en aquí, en Boston. Ah, oh, oh, well. Viviremos aquí, en Boston. Oh. Okay. O oh, una, ¿cómo se dice? Suburbs. Sub suburbs. En los suburbios. Ah, en Boston o oh, los no, no, spell suburbios. suburbios. Ok, me gusta. Super. Ok, Victoria, where is the date? Uh -huh. Uno. Primera pregunta. ¿Dónde irás de vacaciones? Ok. Um, ¿Dónde irás de vacaciones? Um, yo... Uh, ok, yo iré... ¿Es eso regular? No, es regular. Sí, es regular. Yo iré... Um, uh, Italia. Mm, super. ¿A qué ciudad? En uh, Roma. Mm, oh, I would love to go there. Okay, yo iré a Roma, Italia. Super. Muy bien. Ok. Siguiente. So, John is here. Cinco. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Vuelve a tirar. No, John is gonna win. John ganará. Uno, dos, tres. Ok. ¿Cuántos hijos tendrás? Uh... And tendremos mm -hmm. uno o dos hijos. Mm -hmm. o uno o dos. ¿Sí? Is that a regular? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, tener is irregular. Tendremos. Tendremos. Muy bien, ok. Victoria. Six, six. Uno. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Uh, wait, I can see. I can see. Okay. ¿Qué cenarás esta noche? That's to cook. I uh have -huh, to cook or to eat. Okay. Um, yo uh, cenaré mm -hmm. uh, pescado. Uh -huh, okay. 
Y vegetables. Ah, ok. Vegetales. 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 Exacto. Oh, delicious. Ok, muy bien. ¿Es there a word for salmon? Sí, eh, salmón. No, oh, salmón. Y cauliflower. Y cauliflower. ¿Es there a word for cauliflower? Es the same, cauliflower. Oh, God, that's right. Okay. It's, it's the same. Salmón y coliflor. Wow. I love salmón. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Now, John. One, one, John. No, sí. Dos, okay. Uno, eh. dos. Dos cosas que podrás hacer en 2030. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, vo volere. Close. Vo un, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Vo what? Un, what? ¿Cómo se dice to fly? Uh -huh. So it's volar. Volare. Oh. En un coche. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think so? <laughs> what is it the way I guess so, yeah. Y, um, uh, viviré por uh, 200 años. <laughs> okay, puede ser. Soy mm -hmm. un optimista. Sí. Optimista. <laughs> un optimista. Well, yes. I don't know. The the car will fly. I don't know. Could be. That would be great. Sería genial. Okay. Siguiente para Victoria. Tres. So, uno, dos, tres. Okay, but John already answered this. So, I will give you another. Okay? Okay. So, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. What? Okay. ¿Cuál oh. será tu próximo viaje? Oh, ¿cuál será tu... Which... ¿Qué será? I forget. Oh, which... ¿Qué será? Or... Is the future of ser. Ser. Viajar. Can you well, go back to that question? Yes. Oh, you should be it. Never mind. Writing it. ¿Cuál será el próximo... Tu ser? próximo... Be, what will be... Your, your próximo next. Oh, so it's the next thing. Okay, so, um, uh, yo. So how? So can I say yo via hare? Sí. Uh, a Nueva York. Oh, genial. Cuando? In yeah. In próxima fin de semana. In prox in el próximo fin de semana. Super, muy bien. Oh, qué, qué bueno. Super. Okay, siguiente para John. Seis. Oh Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Okay, so I have to, to, okay, Victoria is going to create a question, okay, for yeah. John. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me think. Um, okay. Donde? Who got us? Golf. Sí. El fin de semana. Muy bien, perfecto. I guess I want to say this. So, este, el Ajá. fin de semana. Okay. Este, este fin de semana. Este fin, fin de semana. Super, perfecto. John? Uh, jugaré golf uh, um, Uh, uh, Newton. 
What is it? N A A double B? Double B? Like this? No, no, no. Double V. Double V. Okay. T O N A. Ah, Newton, like the like the scientific, yeah. Go. Un uh, suburbio suburbio de Boston. Okay. Who got it called? And Newton con um, me. Um, ¿Cómo se dice brother-in-law? Con mi cuñado. Con mi cuñado, cuñado Ryan. Cuñado is brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. I forget that one. Says, uh, yeah, I was forget too. Cuñado, cuñado. Okay, muy bien. Perfecto. Now, Victor. That is. You asked a question. Oh. Oh, that was the game? Oh, that was to yeah, make up a question. Ah. He is here. So that like make any questions. So that's why I told you. I'm not going to make you a question. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, siguiente para Victoria. So you were here, right? So uno, dos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in cinco años, nosotros, so what are you going to do in five years? Okay. Cinco años, nosotros. Como se dice, maybe, I forget. Tal vez. Okay. Tal vez. Uh, um, is tener regular? I forget. Oh, yeah, tendré. Um, tendremos. Sí. Um, un niño. Maybe. Sí. Sí, eso sería genial. Ok, muy bien. ¿Algo más o oh, eso es todo? No, I guess. Um, for me? Uh -huh. Maybe something else that you want to say that in five years you're going to have or that's um, it. Um, en cinco años también um, tendremos un otra yeah. pero. <laughs> Okay, but, but Bella, right, but Bella, Bella. too. Uh, Bella. Sí. Con Bella, another dog. Okay, okay. Super, super. Genial. Okay, eh, ahora John, dos. John, where, ah, here. Uno, dos, okay. ¿Cómo será tu casa después? Uh, nuestra casa... Será. Sí. En uh, Quincy. Ah, okay. So when you talk about location, would be estará. Like um, will be in place. Estará en. Ah, uh, okay. Sí, sí. Like this, um, Quincy? No. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, e. N. A. Uh, Q. Uh, okay, so E N Q, ¿sí? No, no, Q, Q U E N C E Y Y. Ah, like this. That doesn't look right. <laughs> no, no E, no, no, no A, no. no A. Ah, just Quincy, okay. Tal vez. Un, un uh, suburbio de Boston. Ok, súper. Un suburbio de Boston. Súper. Ojalá. Vos... Súper. Ahora Victoria. Cinco. Eh, aquí. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ok. ¿Qué harán tus amigos en 2025? Para... Aran, from the verb hacer. Oh. So, 
What's the question again? ¿Qué harán tus amigos en 2025? Who will be your friends in 2025? Who will you have as friends? Uh, what are your go your friends going to do? Oh, what will all your friends do in 2025? Your oh. friends do. Okay. Um, it's 2025, three years. Um, yes, that sounds like far away, but it's really yeah. near. <laughs> mis amigos, amigas, mis amigas. Mm -hmm. Um Haran. Oh, um no. Oh, is that that's right, right? Had, no, it's Haran. Had, Haran. Um so if I say they will or should I never mind. So mis amigas take away no Haran. Okay. Uh, vi viren. Okay, vivirán. Oh, vivirán. Mm -hmm. En la um, Nueva York. Ah, okay, in in Nueva York. That's it. In mm -hmm. Nueva York. In spaceship. In that's not far away. In spaceship. Um in Brooklyn e um I don't know how to spell Brooklyn like this, right? Yeah, you see. Okay. Um, <laughs> e, um Long Island. Oh, I don't know how to spell that. L A O N A K. Yeah. I, and then like C. Correct. Okay. So, Okay, perfecto, super. Okay, we're going to do the last, the last for John, and then John is gonna do a question for Victoria. So, John, we're, you were here, right? So, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Okay, ¿cuántos, esta es interesante, ¿cuántos idiomas sabrás hablar? Uh, hmm. Um, idiomas uh, ahora uh, sab, so uno uh, okay uh, but the conjugation for the verb saber in yo remember uh, it's irregular so how would you say john i, I don't know so Loso, non loso? No. Oh, that might be Spanish. I mean, How would you say I don't know in in Spanish? You don't say. Say. Hola. <laughs> say uno. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, en, en el futuro uh, sabré. Mm -hmm. um, uh, cien. <laughs> Muy optimista, optimista. Idiomas. Cien idiomas. Okay. It's like an expression that's mm. like, like, like mine was going to be, uh, what did you want to say? Oh, Dios mío. Oh, expressions? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, no. Idiomas is not expressions. Idiomas is languages. Oh. oh. Like cien idiomas, okay. Oh, I know, cero. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Ahora, ahora sé dos. Uh -huh. En el futuro sabré cuatro. Mm, super. Cuatro idiomas. Perfecto. Well, cien could be. Well. No. <laughs> okay, John. So now, please make a question for Victoria. Um, uh, okay. Color. Um, 
estarán mm -hmm. los uh, ¿Cómo se dice fingernails? Oh. Ah, eh, uñas and is feminine. So las, uh, las, las uñas uh, uh, la próxima semana. Ok, muy bien. So here is serán. Serán, ok. <laughs> yes. So, ¿cuál color serán las uñas la próxima semana? Uh -huh. um, uh, yo... Yo pintaré uh, mis uñas Rojas. Uh, muy bien. Perfecto, perfecto. Muy bien, chicos. I think that you're doing an excellent um, job. <laughs> uh, so please practice this. I will let you a little homework. You don't have to write it if you want just to think, but if you can write it, it's okay. So you're going to tell me next class, uh, what are you going to do in your next vacations, okay? So comeremos pizza, because you're going to, to go to Nueva York, to New York. So what are you going to do in New York, okay? ¿Qué harán en Nueva York? That's the, like the homework, okay? You can do it together, like one sentence, one sentence, okay? Okay, perfecto. So muchas gracias. Thanks for letting me record this, this class. So I will stop the, the recording.